Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. Uh, shout out to my Premiere Squad. Concerning the Premiere Squad, I... I promise y'all, I do not do this on purpose, like dropping stuff in videos. When I'm recording, I have this little table in front of me. It's like a TV stand, like a TV stand. You know how like people eat on those tables? I got a little table in front of me and it's just too small. So I'm going to be very grateful when I move and have my own room and have a nice little setup to where stuff doesn't fall all the time. So with the Premiere Squad, I'm going to still do those videos most of the time. But some of my videos are going to be shorter than 10 minutes. And for those reviews, I am not going to do premieres because this is what I've noticed. I've been doing premieres for like three months now. The first two or three minutes of a video, I'm saying hey to everybody and everybody's, you know, greeting everybody. And that's what we want to do. We want to talk and say hey first and then we're going to watch the review or whatever the video is about. So, um... Then that only leaves us with like five minutes of, you know, the video. So I prefer to have premieres for longer videos, like videos that are like nine minutes and beyond. So we're not going to do premieres every video, just the longer videos. Just wanted you guys to know that. Yeah, so this is my October favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in a couple of months, probably like three months or so. But that means I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys. And this is a video where in the past, like years ago, I would try to find stuff that I like to put in the video. All of these are like absolute favorites that I'm including this in this video. It's not just makeup. It's not just wigs. It's like everything that I love in general. So I typed it in on my phone. First off, my favorite is my classic happy planner. In 2019, my planner has... I feel like it's kind of changed my life seriously I used a planner before 2019 but I wasn't like a part of any I wasn't a part of the planner community at all like I didn't even know that was a thing but and then in like December of 2018 I started watching Caleb a plan and planning with Bumble and they really inspired me to get my first like and start doing decorative planning like I love the planner community so much and it's a creative outlet it's just so fun if I have a busy month I'm, I'm I get overwhelmed but my planner has helped me like keep up with everything so if you are an influencer especially you need to get one um I had like a separate social media planner but having multiple planners wasn't working for me I just felt like I was overwhelmed and then I was trying to do plan with me videos on my other channel which you guys should follow me on there it's called hearts and a plan i haven't posted in like two weeks because my main focus is this channel always first and then sometimes i get to that channel but i'm gonna have a video up on that channel very soon so definitely subscribe to that channel we're getting close to 1k which is very important so uh definitely subscribe over there if you are interested in planning if you are trying to be more organized i would highly recommend the happy planner they have different sizes and you can customize it to your liking you can take out the pages you can put them back in um and they have so many cute accessories i'm just gonna insert a picture of my planner cart it doesn't look like that anymore because I have a ton of sticker books now. Like, my planner card is overflowing. It's not purely dec decorative. It's also functional because I have to I have to use my planner for my social media. So, um, and house stuff too, but mainly for my social media. Okay, it's like, if you are getting a planner, this is the sticker book I think you should get. Like, if you're a newbie definitely get the colorful boxes sticker book like the original one i'll show it to you guys so you can get this at hobby lobby or michael's this is just good for like functional planning and stuff so if you're somebody that's not really into like all the cutesy stuff this is the sticker book you need it's this one right here highly recommend it i use it in literally all of my spreads pretty much my midi rings i have gotten so many compliments on these rings when i've been wearing them in my videos lately so um this specific one is my favorite it's a cross it's a midi ring and it has like a dangling cross on it i get compliments on this all the time 
And the other rings I have on are from the same store. And I got all these from Rainbow. Now, when people ask me where I get them from, like in the comments and stuff, and I say Rainbow, they're really surprised. And you will be surprised at the stuff you can find at Rainbow. So they actually do have a lot of good accessories and stuff. So um, if you like these rings, head to your local um, Rainbow and see what they have available. And Rainbow is super inexpensive. So I think these rings were like under, how much were they? $5.99 for like multiple sets of different midi rings. So check them out. I have a gold set and then I have a silver set when I wear like more like silver jewelry and stuff. I really love this dangly one. And then when you wear these rings, they just set off like a, it sets off your nails. Like it looks so good. And I have on those press-ons that you guys saw recently. And I'm not going to include my press-ons in the video just because I've only had them on for like four or five days and I'm just, you know, getting used to them. But so far they're sticking and I don't have any, uh, infections or anything like that because some people mentioned that you could get infections from from doing press-ons but you can also get infections from acrylic nails too from dirty shops and all that stuff so I really it's a gamble either way but I'm not gonna include my press-ons in this video Check out the the midi rings because I know some midi rings can get you know more and more expensive but these were super cheap and they're so cute I'm gonna include the only food item in this video and I have tried it so many times over the last like month or two so Panera is one of my favorite like restaurants to go to they're they're kind of expensive though like if you get like whatever entree plus a drink plus something small it's like $15 so I don't go there all the time probably like once a week or something like that but they have these new warm grain bowls and they're so good specifically the mediterranean one with grilled chicken is so good if you like hummus it has this lemon dressing that goes on it that's really good feta cheese and tomatoes and stuff is so so good y'all yeah it's really really good i tried the baja version or yeah the Baja version of it it's okay it's not nearly as good as the Mediterranean bowl so highly recommend that from Panera I think I've eaten it probably f five times in the last like month and a half it's so good okay my Z Loyal glasses now if some a lot of people have said they have seen my ad on Facebook pop up a lot and that's just really really cool but seriously the black glasses that I got from that haul the, the black glasses that I wore in that video both pair I wear them all the time I thought I was going to wear the blue ones a lot but I've reached for the black ones more I guess because it's just a neutral color but they are so cute like I really love those glasses um, I do have a link down below if you guys want to purchase something. It is an affiliate link, so their glasses are super cute and affordable. Um, I've been wearing glasses since I was in the fifth grade, and the last pair that I got when I was still on my parents' insurance was like three years ago, and those glasses were so expensive. They were like $300 or something like that, and then the glasses that I got earlier this year from the optometrist for like two hundred dollars or something and they weren't even that cute they were just okay and the glasses that I got from Z Lul were all affordable now when you add like more stuff to it the price is gonna go up but it's not gonna be three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars I highly recommend checking Z Lul out um one of the black glasses that I have are only $11.95 but I mean that's the base price which is really good so anything you add to it is gonna go up but still it's still only $11 to start off with so if you're looking for some trendy cute glasses check them out there's a lot of other retailers out there as well so far I've tried Zillow and I've tried um, Firmu I like both of them um, I haven't tried the Vogue I think it's called Vogue Me or something like that. I haven't tried them yet, but I watched 
Miss Naturally Mary's video and she did a try on and she looked super cute in all of them. So definitely if you're looking for glasses, go online. Like get your prescription from your optometrist and go online. Because the optometrist, they're going to hike up those prices and then it's usually like a limited selection that they have. And speaking of Zlul, the earrings, not the ones I have on now, but they're, it's these spiky gold ones. Um, I wore them in the Zlul video, but I've been wearing them a lot in like all of my content basically. Um, this is the first time in a long time that I've been wearing my hoops. I'm a hoops girl, but sometimes I just want like a, a funky smaller earring and those like spiky goat earrings that I got from Zelo. I've been wearing them a lot in my videos and I've been getting a lot of people ask me where I got them from. I got them from Zelo. So those are those have been some of my favorite earrings to wear in the last month. All right, so I have been watching a little bit more Netflix this month than I normally do. I usually just watch YouTube all the time. Like when I'm taking breaks from filming or having lunch before I film or whatever, I'm usually watching YouTube. That's like my TV. YouTube is my TV. So um, I've been watching a little bit more Netflix. This month, my favorites have been first Raising Dion. I thought that was so good. Um, but I will say, like, the first two episodes, I was kind of like, this is boring. Like, it was a slow start for me to get into it, but then, like, it got better and better as the show went on. So, um, if you're into, like, sci-fi and, you know, that kind of stuff, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, it just starts a little bit slow and then it gets a lot better. And most recently I watched um, Dolomite with my husband and it was hilarious. Like it was really good to see um, Eddie Murphy again in something that was really good. And the cast was fantastic. It was hilarious, very raw and raunchy, but really, really good. The cast was like slam packed with a lot of people like Wesley Snipes, Mike Epps, um, Key from Key and Peele, um, who else? There's a lot of people in that movie, so check it out, it's very funny. So, into makeup stuff. Now, as far as makeup goes, I've been getting a lot of compliments on my lip combos, and I'm gonna tell you guys what they are. The first one, I have, it was that, in like four or five videos, I was wearing like this super dark, vampy lip. Um, I was just feeling fall vibes, so I was like, I'm gonna wear this dark, vampy lip. And that that color combo was ColourPop's Limbo, which I've been wearing for like four years now. It's a true brown. And then I paired it like on the corners of my mouth um, with Colored Range Roulette, which is like a deep plum color. So it, it creates like a really rich purpley brown look. And of course I blended, I blended out together like with a nice, like a small brush, just so it's real seamless. That's a beautiful lip combination. And they look good alone too, but I do like to mix my lip colors together. One that I have on right now is like a nude lip combo. And it is Colourpop's Limbo, Colored Rain Sugar, which is like a pinky nude, but it's kind of a mid-tone pinky nude um, to give it more of a, a pinky hue. And then I put my... I put concealer on my lips as well. I start off with ColourPop's Limbo and I line my lips with it. And then I go in with Colored Rain's Sugar, which you guys can see it's like a, a pinky nude color. And I'm gonna swatch them on the back of my hand so you guys can see. There's Limbo, there's Colored Rain's Sugar, which is like a, a pinky color. And then there's my concealer right there. I really like the Instant Age Rewind because it has this sponge right here and you can just kind of pat it on your lip. And after, to blend everything together, I just take a brush and while it's wet, I just blend it out and it creates this really beautiful nude. And I I saw somebody on Instagram do the concealer thing and it works perfectly. Like, let's say, let's say you just can't find the perfect nude for your complexion. So let's say you take a brown lip liner, you take a concealer that's like really close to your skin tone, you put it on your lips, and then you go over it with a clear gloss and that's just like a beautiful nude lip combo. And I've done that before and that's just like changed my nude lip game up. Like mix a little concealer in there and it's just perfect. 
far as my favorite lashes they're the lashes that I have on right now actually and they are from Remy Rose um or they're by Remy Rose and her lash company is called Beast in the Trap in July I bought like three pair from her like myself and the pair that I love the most they're called Sweet Pea I love them I have worn them probably for since August so that's that's two months I have loved these lashes if you go on my Instagram I've worn them a lot and but ever since I've been posting them a lot right now so if you use my coupon code which is THC 15 you get to save 15% off at checkout so if you do like these lashes you can enter that code when you're checking out and save some money this is a pack that mine came in like this coppery rose gold packaging and they came in here she recently sent me two pairs of lashes but I've I've cut up some of one pair just to make them fit to my eye so she sent me these recently and if you guys can see it these are super super dramatic right here super dramatic but they are pretty but I would highly recommend these the sweet pea because I've worn them consistently and they just they just look so good I don't have on any eyeliner like on the top of my lids and these lashes are bold enough to carry it lastly we are going to talk about wigs yes so all of my favorite wigs this month have been natural textured wigs and I just want to go ahead and tell you guys in November specifically on November Sunday November 17th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my channel I'm gonna have a huge wig sale I'm gonna be selling most of my closet I'm just gonna keep my absolute favorites everything else is gonna be sold I have more details about the wig sale, so you don't have to answer you don't have to ask in this video because I'm gonna be specific in an informational video like a couple days before that wig sale but most of the wigs that I loved like absolutely love this month have all been textured wigs like none of them have been silky none of them have been like super like juicy curls and stuff they've just been textured wigs the first one is Janet Collections Jode I got that wig based off of you know Cassie and Gladys's video and I fell in love with the the, the one that's in a uh, the one that's in a number two because it just blended so beautifully with my hairline like I left a little bit of my edges out and I didn't have to slick them down because it's such a textured wig that wig is so bomb and sassy and sophisticated I love the length on it and the next one is Janet Collection's Jenna it's just such a cute cute look it, it's so sweet it's so fluffy and curly and big um, I have worn her twice I told you guys I was going to teach my YouTube school class and that's the wig I decided to wear. I didn't wear a human hair wig. I wore that synthetic wig and it looked beautiful. And I love them both because I can just leave my edges out and not have to slick them down and it looks very natural and it doesn't look weird at all. I knew Jenna was like that girl right away but my sister who I trust a lot she will tell me if a wig just doesn't look good on me or if it looks fake she inboxed me and was like she was watching my story and she was like that wig should be your staple wig because it looks really good she loves it on me and I was like oh. as soon as she said that I went back online and ordered a backup it's that serious so I have two Jenna's right now um, I think Joe just like sold out everywhere. I think she's super popular, so she's sold out everywhere. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try any other wigs from this collection, but I am curious about Amani because I saw Kyra Sean review it and it looks kind of like a shorter, more angled version of Jenna. So I'm curious about that one, but I think that's about the last one that I would be interested in. And then lastly I do have one human hair wig to include in this video and that is that kinky straight um, wig from Y wigs um, that wig I wore it outside I, I wore that one like three or four times and it looked natural outside like but I will say when you keep adding powder to your lace and without washing it it's gonna get caked up and then it's gonna get 
the color's gonna uh, the color's gonna be a little bit off. So when you go outside, it might be like a separation between your skin and your lace. So you're probably gonna have to clean that glue off every once in a while and then reapply it, so you don't have like a line of demarcation between your skin and where the lace is. Um, but the lace blended really well. I think they did a great job with that wig, the texture and with the lace because it did melt and it was easy to apply. Um, yeah, so that was my favorites this month. I just took some selfies wearing Nisha and wearing her as a side part and she is looking good. So I like how this looks as a side part and I don't have my edges like laid down. They're kind of, they're just out here. I don't have them slicked down. Cause I don't think that would, the slick edges would match this textured wig. I just don't think that would make sense. So give me all the textured wigs. Cause I feel like those are the ones I'm reaching for. And it's making me like not even want to touch my other wigs. Like I'm telling y'all this sale in November, I'm selling so many of my wigs, even the wigs I've been holding on to for a long time. They are out of here. So stay tuned for that wig sale. Shout out to my Premiere Squad for watching this video with me. Somebody, I guess, that doesn't really watch my channel a lot was like, oh, you're talking too much. This video is too long. You must be new here. Like the Premiere Squad likes long videos and I appreciate that. Thank you guys for rocking with me and your genuine support. It means a lot to me. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends and family. Tell me down below, have you tried any of my favorites or anything in this video? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.